Hello YouTube, Ethan, you're back, another kicking action figure review. And this review is a pleasure, dare I say an honor. Uh, I, I mean, I've been loving this line. It's this, uh, this figure's from the NECA Godzilla line. And it's the best figure in the line, hands down. It is the NECA 1954. Godzilla from the Godzilla Classics line. This figure kicks mad butt. You guys, okay, I've been waiting to get him. Uh, I was going to wait till the price dropped a little. Uh, the time of filming this, he's still about 25 on Amazon. Got this guy for 25 at a comic shop. And, you know, I saw him there, and I just couldn't not get him. This figure... Might be the best 1954 Godzilla figure ever made. The best one in my collection. Hell yeah. This is a beautiful, beautiful figure. And it's super articulated, and there's no super articulated monster art of 1954. Which is really surprising that they mostly only do Heisei stuff with monster arts. A little weird, right? Because I would kill for some Showa monster arts, like Showa Gigan, so I don't have to get the Revel Tech. Also, Showa Megalon. Oh, man, Showa Megalon. Beautiful. But, uh, that doesn't seem to much be happening. We only have one Showa character from that line, so... Hmm. But, yeah, 54 Godzilla, amazing figure. I have to admit something. I have had this sort of inner conflict as to what... the last figure in my top five figures should be in my collection. Now, this isn't the five best figures in my collection, it's just... kind of my five favorite figures. And, uh... They're almost complete, you know. My favorite figure, of course, Kamen Rider Narishiko from SH Figure Arts. Also, to go with her, Kamen Rider Forms Rocket States from SH Figure Arts. Another absolute favorite figure of mine is the SH Monster Arts Gamera 2 Gamera. And also the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Carol Denver's Captain Marvel, who I have reviewed. You can check out the review. But, um... Uh, I do not have her on hand at present. She's at my apartment, and I'm not filming this at my apartment, so. But, yeah, those are my four favorites, and I've been wanting to do a top five, and here it is. NECA 1954 Godzilla is one of my top five favorite figures. And here's why. So let's zoom out a bit. Try not to widen the frame too much here. And this figure is just, it's amazing. The head sculpt on this, ah, oh man. When was the last time the head sculpt of this Godzilla was captured so well? Look at him. Look at the inside of his mouth and, oh, man, those eyes. This is a beauty. The spines are perfect. I mean, look at them. Absolutely wonderful. There's the tail. Just so cool. Nice big feet. I love it. Even detailed on the bottom. Peg holes. Kind of got that whole black and white look going on. Very gray. Very nice. Nice claws. Skin detail. Just so much detail on this guy. And articulation is fantastic. I mean, look at how far he can look down and then up. You saw the jaw articulation earlier. You got all this rotation you can do in the head and neck. So that he can look just wherever you really want him to. Just absolutely fantastic. And then you have arm articulation. You can kind of do the chicken dance. Forward and back as well. Really the only complaint I have about this guy is that these pits are kind of weird. Seeing the arm there, it looks like he's got all this loose skin. But you know, there's that. Got that bend in there, rotation. We've got a rotation there, kind of a back and forth also. Finger articulation, as you can see. Very cool. A very nice articulation point on the torso there. It can move all about, you know, down, back. I mean, he can just move everywhere. 
Same with the legs, in and out, up and down, just however you really want to move them. And he even has a knee bend. A little stiff, but eh, no big deal, you know? Really cool. I love um, older Godzilla's big knees and stuff. But you up and down on the 54, side to side, and just all kinds of movement, as you can see, in the body. You can get him posed in really any pose Godzilla would be in. Uh, I'd say the articulation that's the worst is the tail. I mean, it's segmented most of the way down, kind of by twos, as you can see. These two, and then articulation. These two, then articulation. These two, then articulation. And then this is the bendy wire tail, of course, as you guys already knew from other NECA Godzilla's bendy wire tail. But this is it. This is the figure. Ah, I knew it kind of wouldn't be right if one of my top five figures wasn't a Godzilla. So I'm very glad I got this guy. Chomp. But yeah, I think it's size comparison time. Now here's our NECA 1954 Godzilla with some other super articulated Godzillas. Here on the left we have the SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla, first release. And here on the right, the NECA 1994 Godzilla. And I know Godzilla has changed in size and stature over the years, but for the sake of this review, let's just pretend that all Godzillas are the same height. Hmm? Yeah, and so, that being said, these guys do indeed look great together. Here's our Godzilla next to some cheap vinyl figures. We have the Fusion Mecha Godzilla from Bandai Creations here on the left, and Showa Gamera here on the right. And as you can see, he looks pretty dope with them as well. So you got some Godzilla monsters you can compare him with, and also monsters from other franchises. Bandai lines work too. Here's some other NECA Kaiju related figures to compare him to while we're at it. Here on the left, we have the Hong Kong Brawl Gypsy Danger, and here on the right, Axe Head Kaiju. Honestly, he does not scale well with them. He is too small. If you want um, Godzilla that's going to scale well with your Pacific Rims, I would try an 8 or 12 inch Godzilla figure. But these 6 inches, not going to work. And here's Godzilla with some Ultraman here on the left, Ultraman Noah, and on the right, Ultraman Max from the Ultra Hero series and Ultra Act lines, respectively. And he scales well with them, I think, too. I think they look pretty good together. So, yeah, you know, whether it's something with the regular Ultra articulation or something super articulated. And uh, speaking of super articulated, we do have one more figure to throw in here, kaiju wise, and it is the Rebel Tech Baragon. Yeah, and I think that looks fine, honestly, totally fine. Baragon's a smaller monster. I think it works out. The Baragon does seem to scale best with other Rebel Tech figures, and also the SH Monster Arts 1964 Godzilla. But I think he works fine with these figures as well. And here he is with Common Rider Nadishiko. So all in all, what are my final thoughts on the NECA 1954 Godzilla? Whew! This figure's fantastic. Scales up well with other 6-inch Godzilla and Kaiju figures, whether it's Ultraman, Gamera, whatever. Scales well with your other super articulated stuff, like Ultra Act and Monster Arts, uh, the smaller Revel Tech stuff, and it'll probably scale well with the SH Figure Arts Ultraman stuff that's coming later. Now we already have the manga Ultraman, and soon we will be getting an original Ultraman, Zeton, and Bolton. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, this is what we got right now. Pretty cool. Love him. He's just a beautiful figure. Great detail and paint, everything. Just beautiful. Wonderful articulation. All in all, I gotta give him 5 out of 5 stars. Anything else would be an injustice. Anything else would honestly be an injustice. This is a beautiful, beautiful figure. And if you collect action figures, especially Godzilla figures, he should be on your shelf. If you collect Godzilla figures, he should be on your shelf. He's not very expensive. Way less expensive than a monster art is. Like, the cheapest monster art is going to cost you double what I paid for this guy. Well, mostly. I kind of got my road in for... <laughs> like 25 bucks but that was before now that Rodan you can't get for less than a hundred but this guy just wonderful so yeah that's it you guys five out of five stars remember to rate comment subscribe check out all the links in the description below you know there's lots of great stuff down there our last review is down there yeah other channels Facebook Twitter lots of cool stuff check it out you guys got more Godzilla Ultraman Gamera reviews coming your way Lots of great stuff, you guys. So just subscribe, stay tuned, and uh, you'll see what's coming.
I have a lot of good stuff coming, so just keep it up. Alright, that's it you guys. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you all later.